do you want to be included? I know y'all are like, how many animals does she have? Say there's two cats and two dogs, right? Yeah. And a dog is coming over here because you're jealous. You're jealous. You're all jealous of each other. But they all get along. Do you want to look up? Show them your nice green eyes. Oh, look at you. It's so pretty. You actually like to be held. The other one does not. <laughs> Just like stare off. Hello, thanks for coming back to check out another video. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands. Um, ignore this, different video, not this one. So, I had so much fun. <laughs> this sounds really weird. I had so much fun sitting down and putting into a spreadsheet all of my makeup and how many ounces were in each pan and how many pans were in each palette and blah, 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 and figuring out how many years worth of makeup do I own. Obviously, this is not like my original idea. I got this from uh, Paula, a beauty guru made me do it, and Jessica Lee and Amanda D. And they actually just wrapped up their year long like experiment, kind of like testing out this formula. So I do want to put that out there like this is just for fun. Obviously, it's not like an exact science because certain formulas are pressed harder than others like creams for, for me at least go quicker than like a powder product. Um, you know, and we're all different with like application methods and things like that. Some of us are more heavy handed than others and that's fine. I don't, I, you know, that's, if you put on your face and you're happy with it, then that's all that matters. So it's just for fun, but I thought that this was a good thing for me to do in order to kind of like continue on with my no buy. And so I had done like, what does a year's worth of makeup look like for me? And that was like really eye opening to see like, what was in front of me should last a year and then how much is still over there in the vanity like it was just so crazy so i wanted to sit down and like actually put in everything and see how much everything is so that's what this video is we're going to run through blush highlighter lip products and eyeshadow and i'm saving eyeshadow for last because that is my favorite thing and i think that that was that might be everyone else's favorite thing too but so it's um like a little spreadsheet that I think Jessica and Paula and Amanda came up with. I don't know. Like, I think they got the idea from Reddit and then they tweaked the formula a little bit. I just use the spreadsheet that Jessica includes um, in her, like, in her video. So I will try to remember to put that in the description box just in case you're interested in, like, filling this out. It is very time consuming. Like, the blush and the lipstick and the highlighter, that all went pretty quickly. But the eyeshadow palettes, like that took a little bit more effort and especially too if like certain palettes that I have, they have like two or three different pan sizes within them. So you had to like really look and do some math sometimes as to how many ounces were in like each pan. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, so within the spreadsheet, I put that I wear makeup five days a week for all the, like it asks you during like on the blush and the highlighter and the eyeshadow yeah, and I, I don't think it asks you on the lips. Let me make sure. Nope, it does. It asks on everything, like how, how many days a week do you wear makeup? So I put in five. I honestly, that's like a good average because I do a lot of times wear makeup seven days a week. But then, you know, there's the inevitable of like, eh, I just don't feel like it today. Or like, eh, I'm kind of sick. Or I know I'm just going to be here at the house. Like just, ugh. so that's why I went with five. So for blushes, I put that I use two blushes every time I do makeup because I do tend to use like a cream blush and then a powder blush on top of it. So for blushes, my whole collection is 10.76 years. And so let's just round that up. I have 11 years of blush in my life. And that's a lot. That's a lot of blush. I did not think that it would be that much because I don't know, you just look at it and I I don't know where I was going with that because, well, okay, <laughs> if I could get my thoughts together. <laughs> so 11 years of blush, like that is way more than I expected it to be. Um, I don't know, like I know it's really hard to move through a blush and like hit pan and even finish it off, but I just, when I look at it, it just doesn't seem like it would be 11 years worth. Does that 
maybe make sense. I don't know. Uh, next, let's just do lip products. So again, five days a week wearing lip products. And I put that I reapply it three times a day. Um, typically, I only apply it like in the morning, especially if I'm just here at the house. But if I like go out and about, I am trying to be better about like taking the like the lipstick or whatever it is that I'm wearing with me that day so that I can reapply it. Um, so I put that I reapply the lipstick three times a day. Um, but with all my lip products, that equals out to 4.68 years worth of product. So five years of lipstick in my life. I have never ever finished off like a standard like bullet lipstick. I have two in my 21 by 2021 and I don't even know if I will finish those this year. I have no idea. And I have a lip gloss in there too. Um, you know, it lipstick is like slow going to me and I, I apply, I guess so little, like I just do like one swipe on like top and bottom lips. So it's, I don't know if that's like how much everyone else uses or if that's just maybe I'm light handed with lipstick. I don't know, but it seems like so little and it, when you're tracking it, like on a piece of paper, if you're like looking at monthly and you know, making your marks, like it's just so slow going. Um, let's see here. Highlighter is the next. So five days a week and I put two highlighters because I do wear a cream highlighter and then a powder highlighter. So I have 9.50 years worth or 10, we'll just say 10, 10 years worth of highlighter. That's crazy. That's crazy. So essentially I do not have to buy another piece of makeup until I'm 40. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. This one. Okay. So when I did my years worth of makeup video, I put like a little thing on the screen like, oh, I, I bet I have like 20 years worth of eyeshadow if I actually figured it all up. So take a guess. Just take a guess of how much eyeshadow Haley has. <laughs> so five days a week, wearing six eyeshadows at a time. And again, that's just an average. Like sometimes I wear more, sometimes I do a one and done look, but ultimately like I was trying to think of most of my like standard go-to looks that I love to wear on like um, like a daily basis and they typically involve six shades so that's why I went with six. 17.91 years. I have 18 years of eyeshadow. 18. 18. How crazy. That's just I really don't need to buy any more eyeshadow whatsoever for the next 18 years. I don't even know if I could get through a whole palette in a year. Like, we'll see. I really hope that I can get through that Lorac Mega Pro 1 in a year, but uh, I have seen uh, Victoria Joyce here on YouTube. She spent two years on that palette. So, and it is a lot more tightly packed than the Mega, than the Mega Pro 4, but. So my plan, what I want to do is, um, Obviously, I save all of my empties because I really like to see within a year like the total value or just the amount of product that I use up within a year. So obviously, I'll be saving like all of my makeup empties. So not only at the end of 2020 will I be doing like how much makeup did I use up, but I want to sit down and with these products. So any lipstick, highlighters, blush, or um, eyeshadow that I finish off this year, I want to sit down at the end of the year and put it into the spreadsheet and calculate like, okay, if I finished up, let's just say like 10 shades of eyeshadow, like, is that, you know, how much does that come out to be within the formula? I just think it would be kind of interesting. So that's kind of like my plan where I'm going with this. But yeah, I was ultimately just doing this part of it kind of as a way, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, husband is going to walk one of the dogs. I did this as a way to like shame myself into not buying any more makeup and um, I think that that's good. Sometimes, you know, we all need a little public shaming and in this instance it works and it's okay. I'm putting it out there for you all to shame me as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below. Here comes the pit bull. Please don't knock anything over. <laughs> you, you got a difficult face. I love you, but you got a difficult face.
but I love you. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I was because there were so many interruptions. How dare they, right? Anyway, so, um, yeah, I wanted to do this um, just to help keep me focused and like in this no buy mindset so obviously my no buy works a little bit differently I guess because if I like absolutely run out of something or like if one of my categories I don't even remember like I have it all written down but like if I meet like come under goal in one like um I don't know for concealer I think I said I wanted three so like if I get down to two then um obviously I could like repurchase the concealer if I wanted to but honestly I'd like that's probably a poor example to use because I really do want to finish off all my concealers before I repurchase one but what I'm essentially trying to say is that my no buy uh, accounts for repurchases so are you just not happy do you need your individual okay so goodbye that's it that'll be it We'll just stop rambling, okay? Mm -hmm. So goodbye.